Hi everyone. This is now the third week in a row that I haven't been called for the Opposition Day debates. And I really wanted to speak on this one because it was about Labour's insistence that the government close all of our air borders and not let anyone in or out of the country, whether or not the country they came from had COVID or not. So rather than just tear up my speech and shove it in the bin like I've done in the last couple of weeks, I thought I would record it and uh, put it up online for you to have a look at. So here goes. So we're learning a lot more about Labour's approach to this pandemic. When it started, Keir Starmer, the leader of the opposition, tried to be statesmanlike. He said he was going to put aside party politics and he was going to stand with his Labour members and followers behind the government in support of their fight against Covid. Well, he may have believed it then, but ever since we've had one cynical political move after another, I'm afraid. And today's motion is just the latest in a long line. So if you look back in June, the government was operating a worldwide approach to quarantine. And Labour's response was that a more targeted approach should be adopted. And then in July, Labour's view was that the quarantine measures were too strong and that they should be lessened. And in September, they carried on. Labour argued against the government's quarantine rules, criticising them as a blunt tool. So what is Labour's real view? Do they want to move to a blunt tool, which they used to think was a really bad idea? Are they now for worldwide quarantine when previously they argued that a more, uh, argued that a more targeted approach was the better way to go? Or do they just want to come up with something, anything that isn't what the government line is, just so they can grab a negative headline? it almost appears as though the Labour Party's approach to these crucial areas of public policy is to is not to go for the national effort, but it's to create some sort of eye-catching initiative like Tony Blair used to talk about. If that's the case, then I think Labour has badly mistaken the public's mood. In the meantime, the government is getting on with the job. They have brought in enhanced restrictions for travel that maximise the protection from, from new variants whilst minimising the economic consequences. The travel bans focused on the 33 highest risk countries, they're called the Red List. Elsewhere, mandatory testing before you get on any aeroplane and enforced quarantine once you arrive here. So we have a sledgehammer of a policy based on newspaper headlines or a smart, flexible approach that's based on the data and the science. This enhanced approach gives Britain the space, the space to roll out its vaccination programme. Over 9 million people have already been vaccinated, have received their first injection, and we can now operate at 600,000 injections a day. And this, by way of passing, was another policy that Labour argued against. For them, we should be benefiting from the EU solidarity, but also an injection rate that is one sixth as fast, a mistake that would have cost thousands of lives. So Labour seems to have created a new political concept, which is incompetence out of office. With their much used hindsight, they should think about that.